use. So we're going to talk about the Aragon Dive Master, the original. Um, so like I said in my last video, we're just going to go over the watches that I currently have um, and just review them because I have quite a few and I've noticed that there aren't a lot of reviews on the watches that I currently own. Um, either they weren't very popular or they're no longer around, you can't even find the specs on the website, so that's what these videos are for, is to help individuals um, find out information about these watches, because a lot of people buy watches secondhand and through auction sites, things like that, such as yours truly. So this is another example of that, and Aragon no longer makes this watch, um, but I did get it last Christmas from my parents, it actually kind of started my automatic... Um, interest in watches because I had been just you know a digital quartz guy for so long and doing G-Shock thing and just you know whatever gifts I was given um, loved watches but you know the deep dive really happened here in 2021 so here we are all right so the watch on review today is the Aragon Dive Master I have the green lime green variant um, which I'm very happy with. I think the other colors were purple, orange, black, white, and green, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so this is the Aragon Dive Master, the original iteration from what I understand. So we'll go over the specs, we'll go over what I like, what I don't like. Um, you know, just a lot of um, what kind of really got me into the whole watch game. So I got my handy little sheet of notes here. So let's go through. So obviously the first thing is a color screen. It's a mechanical movement, uh, so it's automatic. Um, you can actually see the, and we'll get this in the, the, the up close. We'll get this in the up close, of course. But you can see the little rotor back there. It's a Psycho NH36. So it's got the day and the date, which is really nice. Um, and it's, it's a hacking movement, so that makes things much easier, Makes uh, allows you to do things a little bit more precise, which I really like. Uh, it's got about a 40-hour power reserve, which is standard for about any Seiko NH36 movement out there. Um, it's a K1 crystal, which what I have come to understand is just a mineral crystal. It's just a different brand of mineral crystal that Aragon is using. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much a mineral crystal, for those who are wondering. Um, the width of it, it's a 45 without the crown, um, and I don't think that that's actually true. So when I printed this off, I think I got it from um, uh, some eBay site, just the specs. Um, but this is actually a 50 millimeter. So they came out in 45, and they came out with 50, and uh, my parents ended up getting me the 50. Um, which, as you can tell, is rather large watch. I mean, I have this by Boulder Expedition GMT-2. You can see quite the difference. This is a 40, this is a 50, so yeah. I'm on to the next thing. The lugs are 22, so it's a 22 lug width. The thickness of the case itself with the ex exhibition back and the top, so from the mineral top to the mineral bottom, 17 millimeters. So this is a big boy, likes to hang off the top of your wrist. It's got a 200, water, uh, 200 meter water resistance, which Again, it's pretty much more than anybody really needs. Um, the dial is also the same color as the bezel, both that lime green, and it's a steel case, and the band material is also steel. So let's go over some of the small stuff before I get into the up close. But it's got a button deployment clasp. It's a solid, so nothing all too fancy, but it clicks right in place. It has this little knurling, which is kind of nice, where you get your th fingernail in there. I kind of like that. Um, but one thing I'd like to point out is the curved lug. So when this bad boy sits on your wrist, obviously it's a honking one. But you get that separation of the links and the lug right here. But as you can see, the lugs, they curve down. So when it sits on your wrist, it sits really nice. Especially for being a 50. So I'm going to put it on my right hand, which always feels weird. But I'll put it on my right hand and you'll see what I mean. So as you can see to minimalize the gap that you are probably seeing right in here. To minimalize that, it's got the curved lugs, and I really like that about this watch, because as you can see, this watch is big for even my hands. I don't even know what the size of my wrist is. It seems like every watch reviewer sizes up their wrist. I guess I've never done that. Um, but yeah, so, and I'm, and I'm assuming the six and a half is all the way around. I'm assuming, I'm not really sure, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's how it looks on my wrist. So you can tell it's 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 a big boy. So when I want to wear a big watch, this is usually the one I go for. But all right, so that was one of the things that I really liked. Um, a good grip on the bezel. Um, so as you can tell, it's got that serrated bezel, and I mean, as you can see, it's probably one of the easiest to turn. It's, I mean, it doesn't give you a, that much of surface area, but the grip itself. It's, it's really nice. I like it. 
Um, and then I also like the red seconds hand. It'll be kind of hard to see. You'll probably see it on the dive, the dive up, the closer one. But I like that red hand. It just kind of gives it a Christmassy vibe, if you will. Um, yeah, and then so the 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 two things that I, I kind of pointed out that I didn't really like, and this kind of comes with the territory. It's a fifty millimeter watch, so it, do you expect it to be light? It's made of steel. It's got an automatic movement in it. It's gonna be heavy. Anyway, so yeah, um, it's pretty heavy. Like I said, it's a fifty millimeter, so it's it's gonna be heavy. It's just you know, it's like buying a Corvette expecting it not to be fast. What are you going to do? Um, and then the other thing is um, it's got the indices. And I like that it, it may try to make the green match with the hands and the dial. It did a pretty good job, I will say. Um, but I, I do point out, and then you'll probably see this in the up close as well, that the, the hands glow a lot brighter than the indices. So it is what it is, and you really only need to see the hands anyways. I mean, if you're a watch enthusiast, um, I can't imagine you're not going to be able to tell what the time is. So that's pretty much And then I'm going to read this little thing that I thought was... Um, very clever, or I don't know what you want to call it, very well put together, well written. Um, the Aragon Dive Master Automatic 50mm A064LIM is a reliable and cheerful watch. Under the hood, you'll find an automatic SIINH36 movement, which is produced by Seiko. Due to the color and the design, this watch is great for spring and summer. Also, it's 200, mil 200 meter water resistance, so it's suitable for nearly any water activity. So, I thought it was funny because, yeah, I'm not wearing this in just spring and, and summer. I'm wearing this all year round. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much everything I got for this camera. So, let's dive up close. And here we are up close. So, you can see the red seconds hand, the mineral crystal, and the green logoing on the green dial. I really like that. I wish they would have made the day and date window green, but, eh, can't have it all. It's got a crown guard with a signed crown, and it's of course screw down, so be aware of that. And then here is the ex exhibition case back, and you can see some of the writing. It's an NH36, so it's nothing to write home about, but you can see in the back, which makes it nice. They're all solid lugs, or I'm sorry, solid links, which is always nice. But yeah, the hour hand is much larger than the minute hand. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much everything to see up front. I mean, the little blip glows at the top, but for the most part, that is pretty much everything. And then this is the clasp that I was telling you about. Clicks right on in there. And Grant, I've had it for a year, so it's, it's seen a little bit of use, obviously, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get that. Let's get that loom shot. All right, here we are with the loom. So as you can tell, like I said, the markers do not light up very much, and you can see that purple light is pretty much trying to pick up my uh, whatever light it can to illuminate right now. But as you can see, the uh, the hands are much darker, and that blip does glow green, and the indices do glow green, but pretty much. That is the extent of it. It's not very great. But again, it's a very entry level diver watch for their collection um, and in general. So, all right, thank you everybody for joining me today on our Aragon Dive Master 50 millimeter journey. I hope you guys all have a great day and stay safe.